Well, thank you so much, Brian, and everyone. As Brian mentioned, you know, I was in Tokyo. I went to some of the original Pechacucha events uh, at Super Deluxe, and I'm really happy to be here today. So thank you so much for this invitation. And today I want to share a little bit about my story and how we can do what we love, which is today's theme, and also design the future that we want. So I'd like to start off with a few photographs from the pristine nature in Patagonia, where I first fell in love with majestic mountains and glaciers. And I also had the experience to learn firsthand about the wildlife in South America, thinking about climate change and how the melting of the glaciers would affect their habitats. After Patagonia and visiting South America, I moved later to Japan, where I learned how to scuba dive for the first time and found a deeper appreciation and love for the oceans and life below water. I also became passionate about travel, photography, and artwork, even underwater, creating photo exhibitions with a creative project called the Red Box, which you can see here on the right. It was this passion for travel and sustainability that really inspired me to join Peace Boat for a global voyage, traveling three months around the world by ship. I learned about important global issues like human rights, social justice, environmental sustainability, indigenous cultures, and much more. So I wanna share with you today why I love what I do. Peace Boat's an international nonprofit that sails as a flagship for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, working on creating global partnerships to achieve a more just and sustainable future for all. We work to achieve all 17 of these goals to make a positive difference through our programs. And as we travel around the world, one of our goals is to be socially and environmentally conscious um, and we practice responsible tourism and learn from local communities that we visit in every country. And we believe travel in itself can be a tool for positive uh, social and political change. So since 2008, Peace Boat sailed for a nuclear free world with survivors from Hiroshima and Nagasaki on board the ship, sharing their testimonies on board and also giving testimony sessions in the countries that we visit. Peace Boat's also a member of ICANN, which is the International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons. And we sail with the logo on the hull of the ship. And in 2017, ICANN received the Nobel Peace Prize and recognition for their work on nuclear disarmament. And Peace Boat, as an advocate for peace around the world, now sails with the Nobel Peace Prize on board the ship. And we host various events for disarmament education during our global voyages. As I mentioned, Peace Boat is a civil society organization and we hold special consultative status with the United Nations. So we participate in many conferences at the UN throughout the year, and we help to bring the voice of civil society to the United Nations. We really want to inspire collaboration amongst governments and NGO representatives. And one of the things I love most about my work as a director of Peace Boat US is our youth education programs and helping to give people a voice at the table with United Nations partners. I truly believe that our youth education programs really inspire positive action for sustainability and can empower youth to take on these important discussions. So in 2015, we created the Youth for the SDGs Scholarship, which is a program for young people to learn about the UN Sustainable Development Goals, travel on board the Peace Boat, attend lectures and workshops, and exchange ideas with experts in the field, as well as local communities and grassroots movements. So we brought our youth for the SDG scholars to hike with us in Ushuaia, Argentina, to the glacier at the top of the mountain. And together with our local guide, we learned about the effects of climate change and how the glaciers are threatened by rising global temperatures. And being able to experience the glaciers in person really inspired us more than ever to work towards climate action. Another program I absolutely loved was focused on reforestation of the mangroves during a visit to Cambodia. This was my first time in Cambodia and it was a hands-on activity that really helped us learn about the livelihoods of the local fishermen. And we planted more than 100 mangrove seedlings that day to help mitigate coastal erosion and bring more fish to the region. And then throughout our global voyages, we also learn about traditional knowledge from indigenous communities around the world. And one of the places I love to visit is in Panama with the Embarakera village. We're always welcoming um, our groups with music and dance from the Embera indigenous leaders. And we learn how to really live in harmony with nature from their culture. Of course, being an ocean lover, we also try to make a positive impact in the communities that we visit along the coast. And in this photo, we organized a beach cleanup with our partners from My World Mexico. So we 
would love to see an end to plastic pollution entering our oceans and we'll do whatever we can to make a difference. And with my passion for art, we also paint murals, which is a tool for social and political change. And in this photo, we're painting an ocean themed mural with our partners from the Pangea Seed Foundation, which also started in Tokyo. And this is in Cozumel, Mexico. Their incredible murals with the Seawalls project have last, uh, lasting impressions all over the island. And then one of our last important programs with youth is the Ocean and Climate Youth Ambassador Program, which brings together young people from small island developing states on board the Peace Boat to share their stories from the front lines of climate change as their island nations are really in danger of the rising sea levels and going underwater. We also invite these youth ambassadors to meet with local communities, governments, and experts in the field, like Cristiana Figueres, who's featured here in this photo, who was instrumental in creating the Paris Agreement for Climate Change. As an organization that travels by sea, we recognize that we really also need a more sustainable cruise ship. So I love this design of Peace Boat's EcoShip, a transformational project that will use solar and wind power to reduce our CO2 by 40%, and create a platform for green innovation and technology. So with EcoShip being a game changer for the maritime industry, we hope that we can sail as a true flagship for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, making a positive impact on our oceans. And we love the idea of designing the future we want and encouraging you to join us on this journey as we make steps towards a more sustainable and just world for us all. Thank you so much.